Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Evil Genius with me, Brainboy20. Let's let it go where we last left off and I'll try to make sure I am actually hitting the record my voice button. Right, so where we last left off, I was planning on building a training room after interrogating the maid again because of mess ups. That's how you select interrogations. Actually, I don't have access to the training room yet, and I'm going to have to watch all those videos again. That's just dandy. And as usual, you are the one who is going to interrogate her, and I'll show you what interrogations look like. From a better perspective, actually, because the old perspective, you barely saw what was happening. That was it. The old one was a lot more humorous, but oh well. Can't avoid these things. And we have a valet. Valets are social animals, charged with ensuring that day-to-day -day operations in their guns run smoothly. If a minion collects... Excuse me. Valets are social minions, charged with ensuring that day-to-day -day operations in your base run smoothly. If a minion collapses through overwork, valets will carry the minion back to the barracks, where they can recover. Only valets can use fire extinguishers. Valets are of limited use in a fight, but their psychological weakening attack distracts enemies and lowers their attention, making them more vulnerable to traps. Later on, more advanced social minions will become available. Alright, there's going to be several videos after this, so I'm going to have to continually remain quiet. Oh, it's not there. No, and that's also to set up the security system again. Don't... There are no objectives, but I'm going to show you those after we see all the videos that pop up. As well up. as being a cash candy jar. Shut up. Some minions may carry firearms, making them more formidable in combat. Different types of gun racks serve different minion types. Basic workers, for example, will only use pistols. Remember, minions will only arm themselves on amber or red alert and will disarm on green alert. The mess hall, along with the barracks, is where minions go to replenish their endurance stat. The mess hall is generally favored during the daytime, and the barracks at night. At least these are short, unlike the previous ones. Famous last words. The staff room is where your hard-working minions get a chance to relax, have some fun, and display their complete lack of table tennis skills. This is where they replenish their attention stat. So, after a spot of relaxation, they will be more alert to the dangers around them, and make less mistakes, like setting off your own traps. And that is why I haven't built a single trap yet. Not until I have that thing. The inner sanctum sports the most fashionable decor, and is used to conduct meetings of the highest importance, and is where you, the evil genius, can replenish your stats. And is where I'm going to be keeping my evil genius once I actually get around to constructing the darn thing, but that's going to be a while off still. Right, 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 right. First things first, check to see if any agents pop up. No agents pop up immediately. However, if I back out onto the island, there we go, our first agents. And they spawn right next to the entrance. Uh, I don't think it's the best thing in the world. Hang on. First things first, I actually got to build the security desk again. Build up the security network. Right, that's the majority of what I want. 
curses. Hang on. Cain, when these people get in too far, deal with them. And then if they start not yet, they're knocking on the door already. Right, as soon as the door gets shut. I say as soon as the door gets shut. No, 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 no. I'm doing this to give Kane experience as well as to get people out of my island immediately. Too much to deal with, and I almost forgot to do this. Well, my newest objective, Head of the Underworld. There can only be one criminal mastermind. Time to make sure that it's you. Gather all the major criminal players to a conference in your island to explain how it's going to be. Summon the Crime Lords. Crime Lords, just like evil geniuses, are impressed by shows of wealth. You need somewhere suitably ostentatious to host this gathering of criminal masterminds. Build your inner sanctum and conference table in preparation for this nefarious delegation. Rumor has it that all of Indian subcontinent is controlled by one man, Arman Krishnan. He has many nefarious plots and intrigues, mostly concerning corruption of local government officials. Track him down and encourage him to, cut, to come to bend to our way of thinking. Marvin De Luca, the nefarious mafia don of all North America, is a powerful man, but with too much hubris. He must be made to respect true power and authority. The inscrutable Lei Ying Lo is the undisputed head of organized crime across China and Southeast Asia. Track him down and send out a party to show him we mean business. Nice. So in the meantime, I keep thinking that pause is the spacebar button. Right, and for the real thing that I need to build now is the training room. How long is this? Yeah, it's six. Is this six by six? I don't think it is. No, it's five by six. Maybe. I prefer six by six rooms because they, to me, scream as if they have a lot more things I can place in them. No, nothing needed there yet. Might as well get only one desk and it doesn't even need to be that precariously placed. And we'll make a bit of a corridor extension. Mm, fire extinguishers are pointless in this region as of now. Right. No agents yet. Just good. At hope. Now, the agents here have four tiers. No, not four. Five, I believe? All I've seen all I've seen and know of thus far are pathetic, poor, good, great, and excellent. I don't know if there's any higher tiers, or if the highest tier is in fact the uh special ones we encounter later. Regardless of how it is, well, regardless of how it is, our base is running, we're not getting murdered yet, and I've yet to see any agents pop up, but that'll be famous last words soon enough. Hopefully we'll have the TNT in here soon enough, and Kane is almost get to the level of psychic terror, although hopefully we won't need it, I might as well have all my henchmen leveled up to maximum. Due to the constant meandering of my minions, this corridor is going to be constantly filled with... It'll be constantly filled with many agents attempting to gain access to my evil sectums. I do have a plan of how to deal with this, considering the amount of people that walk through this region and then go to this doorway. But that'll be far, far off. And now to check again. No agents yet. I'm actually kind of concerned. Okay, so I didn't even show off this either. Technician. And bodyguard. Those are the two other hostages you need. And they give you the technician and guard respectively. He's going to remain in here until I can actually get a suitable bit of... Well, the most nefarious object I can give 
which would be a piece of loot that I'm just going to place right here to affect all my minions, as loot has many, many notable benefits. Loyalty amongst them. I'm still paranoid because I actually lost two people due to some idiocy on the game's part. I'm checking again to make sure I'm actually hitting the I am recording right now key and you can actually hear my voice. As that's the reason I lost the last 10 minutes of footage, which is it's about as much as I've done so far. I'm not going through anything major yet, I'm not trying to build anything. Now, normally I'd have enough agents where they would have one agent, not one agent, minion constantly working the security desk, but I'm still short-staffed a bit. Henchmen, head on down here before they start shooting the bunk beds. No, if they break through, something incredibly stupid happens. They'll just start shooting the bunk beds for absolutely yes. no particular reason at all. They will, of course, die. And of course, Kane has to do yes. something incredibly stupid. They deserve death. I tend to play a hyper-violent game, st game style. Normally I wouldn't be this hyper-violent, but, well, desperate times call for desperate measures. And until I can get an effective means of dealing with these agents, I'm just gonna have Lord Kane deal with them, and who knows, they might get psychic, ter psychic terror out of this. Now, something strange that happened here. In the failed recording of this, I had agents crawling my island within half a second of me getting rid of the maiden. Maiden. Yes, she was a maiden, of course. Can't have maids now, can we? No. The area was crawling with agents, and all my agents here simultaneously had agents on them. If you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to decide what to build here next. Probably just the staff lounge so these people can get their attention spans up because I keep getting attention problems. No smarts problems as of yet. And again, these people aren't the smartest people. Actually, this guy's a video. Construction workers are your basic minions. They are the only workers capable of building new rooms and objects. But don't worry about their safety too much. They are expendable, and new recruits can always be found. Construction workers are also quite useful in a fight if only as cannon fodder. Right then. Didn't even realize it. I'm still paranoid about checking this. If I'm not, all of a sudden I'm gonna lose all those minions without even realizing it. Now, Unlike before, heat did not degrade in any... There, you see why I was checking this now. As all of a sudden, minions at every single corner of the globe went under assailment from the forces of justice. And I was almost none the wiser, but I got lucky. And I've got the funding to spare for a little while. Now, as long as these people don't randomly start stealing without me knowing about it... Alright, so there's some burglars here. And of course it has to be the fancy women in red. Ooh, wait a minute, these guys are videos too. <laughs> Session of videos. The forces of justice may send several different types of agents to infiltrate your base. You might encounter investigators searching for incriminating evidence. Don't let them photograph objects that have heat. Some agents may attempt to retrieve any loot that you've stolen, so keep it well protected. Other agents exist for the sole purpose of wiping your lair and yourself from the face of the earth. Make them pay for their impudence. But yeah, I think it goes on in... Ah, oh, we have a good anvil investigator. Not like that matters much, as long as Lord Kane's on the island. People won't be able to get through. 
They can hurt him as much as they'd like, but you can't actually kill Lord Cain without a specific type of unit. Now, I would like to put these people back on stealing, but I don't think that's going to be an option as of yet. Now, you know what, I'll give it a go and see what happens. I, don't, I really won't care much once I start getting a much larger minion base than I already have. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where did this guy come from? He disappeared, reappeared, he killed some minions, and then vanished. Now, there's some things I tolerate. Seriously. Send two minions that way. Actually, no, it's just a bad idea. I might have... No, don't overdo it. I only need about 5,000 per 60 seconds. This is going to become regular where I keep checking the world map because they just all of a sudden kill your minions without even you realizing it. Well, it'll be common for a while. I think I'll calm down. Maybe. Maybe. Right, so I'm going to have valets soon, but I don't think the valet is going to be enough. I'm going to need some other minion types as well. Most notably, I'm going to need technicians to maintenance by machines, and then guards in order to deal with some acts of infamy. Guards aren't particularly useful. Now, how many acts of infamy do I have access to? Does this... Yes, this is the one that requires ten guards. This is the one that requires everything. Almost everything. There's almost nothing required by you. There's technicians required by you. You need four workers. Now, I have two maids. What's the difference between these two maids? Four maids. F four maids, no, four workers. Well, I could see why they're pathetic and poor if they didn't even bother looking through the front door. Now how many... I have three. I need five to make this tactic effective that I want to use. Intruder alert! Security door bypassed! Kane, head on down here and deal with these people. Very well. Just checking again. I'm a very fearful map. Kane has a hard time dying, and as you can see, he kills mostly everything that he comes in contact with. Good news, everyone! Kane can actually learn Psychic Terror. Now, if I remember what that does, that's effectively worthless with what I want to do. I could use it to terrify agents every once in a while and be a good, okay, there's a really strong agent here, just use Lord Kane to get rid of him, but what do his abilities do again, precisely? Okay. Okay. I'm almost having enough of this. I'm running out of attention span. My evil genius can only do so much, so... My funding's enough. Can I build a... train? No, not a training room. What I want is a staff room. A staff lounge, if you will. No, I'll build it higher. 
That down there is probably going to become another branch off power room, if I have enough room for it. I don't. Mm. That's going to be a problem. I have to figure out how to finagle all of these pieces later. A seven by seven staff room should be good. Trust me, when you get a lot of minions, this becomes very, very important to have a large staff room. As of now, a couple rounds of table tennis, and then a couple of drink machines. And a security loudspeaker. Somewhere in the room. Probably back here. We're making more than enough of an income to justify its use. Do I have a fallacy within this? No, I don't. There's just a minion that's traversing in between. And we have our last ballet. We don't have our last ballet. Right, I believe I've left enough room for something to be constructed back here. Probably have this branch out over, and then just start snaking my way around with the construction. It might not be the most efficient use of space, but I honestly don't care that much. I'm not that great at efficiency anyway. are the most powerful weapon. Shut up. No, I didn't want to go over there. They'll live, unfortunately. Ah, now the really cheap way to do this. I'm sorry. You're not done saluting me yet. You're not done saluting. Keep saluting. I... Demand it. And then this person I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of with Lord Kane. There we go. And thankfully no one is the wiser. Excuse me. You're attempting to break in. They can't see the man being dragged inside. I'm not going to let them. Once again, looking here, but it doesn't look like it doesn't seem like you're missing that much action anyway. He's getting captured. He'll get his loyalty restored to full, and then we won't have to deal with it anymore. Ah, uh, the tourism problem starts. You'll excuse me. These people would be nice if they'd leave me alone. Head on down here. I have to get rid of these people again. I don't have to now that I have all my valets, but as you can see, that one wasn't the most loyal. How tiresome. Valets never fight. They don't like getting blood on their suit. Death is all they're fit for. And he's almost a smooth operator level, which will he basically become a walking valet. I have this problem at the start, because there's just far too many people walking in. What the Yes, they don't look like stereotype Russians at all. 
not at all game. But then again, this is game about, this is a game about stereotypes, so what am I talking about? I'll see if I wanted to construct a power room. I haven't completely wasted it, have I? I have not. I have not. So I'll construct that power room before we start having problems. Object has been ordered. I always put a capacitor in there, but there's not that many problems. And guess what? Agent pops up, kills my men, and leaves. What the heck? Two, two. Did they kill all of my agents? Now that's just. What is going on here? I lost more agents, didn't I? Yeah, what is going on? I'm not e This is my problem with the game. You don't even have a chance to react to the fact that agents are present. They just get... It's just like this. Hey, those are nice agents you have there. Gets rid of them all in one swipe. So I'm just going to consolidate these people because there's no point at this at this rate, I'm just going to keep having problems. I'm just going to consolidate them all in one spot, so I only have to watch it. He should have no problems. Should is the emphasis of the term. And the heat should die down with the rest of these people. Now, if the TNT would hurry up and get placed, I could actually buy something with this and finish building that power plant. I just seem to have a never-ending tide of agents, don't I? Hence why I like to just kill them all. You know, they, I lose agents, they lose agents. Kind of just revenge for me, I guess. That's what happens when I don't watch this place like a hawk. I just suddenly lose a whole large amount of agents and I can't do a thing about it. As you can see, this thing's wearing down because if you're at yellow power, power generators automatically start getting the wear. The storm is effectively a big safe where your cash is stored in the form of gold bars and briefcases. It is advisable to build a new strongroom situated within the relative safety of the hidden mountain base and destroy the old, more vulnerable one situated outside. Okay, I built that a lot Doors earlier. are an effective way to keep your base secure. Using door security settings, you can decide who can pass through them and who will be barred. Enemies might eventually break through doors, but the longer it takes them, the less time they will have to discover your evil secrets before they are recalled. Essentially, the wear and tear that's being presented on my generators is forcing me to call technicians sooner than I would actually like. Really, what I would like to do is acquire enough minions where I can do enough acts of infamy, like, say, well-suited, to start getting more and more notoriety and hopefully get more minions as a result of that notoriety increase and then just start dividing the minions, but people not have that option. Or the luxury more like it. Mm. Right, so I may send all my workers here and immediately attempt the uh, bot, because I would like to get a technician soon. I already have more in here that I've almost forgotten about. Uh, are you gonna just say good? good. No, you're gonna um... leave. Leave. No, you're not leaving. No, you're shooting. What are you? One can hardly what are you doing? No, you're dying now. I don't care who you are. You're dying because that was just one of the. I, I don't understand what goes through your mind when you do that, son. They just all of a sudden decide to walk up and destroy your base. Now this is why I have valets.
Yes, I'd like to sleep in the smoking bed, mind you. It's not like that's a bad idea. No, sir, Bob. Hopefully with Lord Kane's assistance, we won't have that big of a problem with capturing one, because I need a technician. I could also do a small influx of minions in the operation if I need to, but... Well, at this point, it's too late to continue and it's too early to abort. Hopefully I've left enough dumb muscle there in order to absorb blows for Kane. Oh, who am I kidding? Kane's gonna die anyway, I already know this, but... Kane's already gonna die, I know this, but... Eh, I can hope. Oops, sorry. From now on, I'm going to make sure every single enemy agent has psychological weakening tagged on their heads, so that we just have a chance of being tagged for weakened. Pathetic Anvil Infiltrator. Anvil is China, mind you. <laughs> yeah, your ninjutsu is not going to... Really? 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? If I go into hiding, the active infamy fails. So if I need to keep these people around, I have no choice. But that's stupid. Uh, I'm not going to abort. I have enough dumb muscle in order to hold the line. I'm waiting for the death toll to be something like eight, in which case I'm just dead immediately. Dead on arrival. As you can see, I'm not a big fan of agents. However, perhaps I can disrepute the agents. Right, right, right. Hide. Attention! This is an Anvil World Service transmission. The chairman begs his loyal citizen to be on the lookout for suspicious foreigners on Chinese soil. The evil organization continues to prey on our civilians, perhaps hoping to somehow exploit their skills. The chairman assures you that these infidels will be stopped, and the party will once more be triumphant. Okay. So I'm having him immediately recall this. There's not really much point keeping these people out there. Alright, and so he's taking back the technician. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Kane, you better hurry up. I'll let him in, as he doesn't break the door as a response. Perfect, that should at least get the host. that should at least wake up. Good, we have at least one valet attempting to fix this problem before it begins. Are you kidding me? Kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <sighs> I don't like doing the kills, but if they get inside this room, they're just going to start wildly shooting for some reason. Or other that I can't fathom. So Kane should have returned. There he is. And he's got 40 experience necessary to get smooth operator. At which point I have my instantaneous valet. And of course we have the good investigators. And here's how psychological weakening works. And usually my valets will just chain these together so the person just loses the ability to think. And as you can see, he has no attention span. Meaning he's going to stand around and do nothing and just act like a tourist, or just can't accrue any heat whatsoever. Now, say, I'm gonna let them walk in if they feel like it. Good, he walks in, the other person's an idiot and can't leave, so I might as well kill him. Yes, yes. They have to die. And I forgot to show you this stuff. The Aww. Didn't show you anything else new. Sorry. You'll have many, many opportunities before the end of this to show you what they do. We have our first technician. Technicians are science minions, ineffective in combat, but vital because they can fix broken or sabotaged equipment, such as security doors or worn-out generators. Technicians are also able to conduct research once you have a laboratory up and running. Later on, more advanced science minions will become available. There we go. He's got heat. I can let him leave with the heat, but I'd like him to not keep it accrued, if you understand, but, well, I can't do anything about that now. If I had more levels on Kane, as in one, I would be able to stop this, but I don't have the option, so... Alright, so now I'm going to... I like to have at least five, and with the five technicians I can get my first piece of loot and thus dramatically reduce any chance of deserters. Oh, I have another uh, one of these down here, don't I? I need one technician and six workers. We can do that right now. 
that will give me 20... no, 37, which is closer to my goal. Come on in. Come on in, little chaps. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Death. No. Is all they're fit for. No, just for drawing the gun, you die. They deserve death. And yes, you use it. There we go. There we go. Kane, Kane. Become my best friend. Become a smooth operator. And he is now a smooth operator. Alright, so if I have any need of using it as in an immediate thing that I don't wish to do any more violence with him, I can, but once again, it's one of those things that's not going to happen for a while. It's nice of the little touches these game these old games used to have. What happened to them all? Yeah! Alright, so hopefully this man should start going around and fixing up these gener oh it's already fixed. Wow, well, these I was about to say these technicians work fast. And then they decided to prove me wrong. No biggie. Once all these minions have transferred over to technicians, then I'll start the acts of infamy. Hopefully getting enough pieces of loot where I can just place them around the base and not have to deal with loyalty problems. One will most likely go inside this room, the other will probably go inside the control room just to make sure I can get the loyalty problems fixed and any, any other benefits associated with them. Hmm. I can deal with any other benefits associated with them. I don't really have that big of a sense of time. I think two days and two nights have been enough. Except for I'll just show you the repair animation, which just fixes everything up to max. My base was going to look completely fresh and new no matter what, and only artificial means could ever destroy it at this point. So, regardless, I hope you all enjoyed the series. This is Brainboy20, signing off of Let's Play Evil Genius.